Good morning and uh, welcome to a half past four in the morning morning uh, probably more like about ten to five maybe now um, if you haven't guessed by that little bit behind me you definitely guessed by that Penmon Lighthouse we're in uh, the southern part of Anglesey in North Wales uh, this is part two to yesterday's vlog or last week's vlog or last time's vlog whenever it was um, less abled locations now Driving back last night, we were we finished off at South Stack. It was a very short uh, goodbye. Um, I just okay, it was it, I was feeling it. I think I've been up all day. It was a long day, and I knew we had to come down here, so I was feeling it a little bit. So it was a case of thanks very much, bye. Sorry about that. I'll try and do better next time. Um, yeah, I was having a think as we were coming over this morning, um, and as it is, it's looking like a lovely morning. Little strip there. Just keep interrupting myself, don't I? Little strip there where the light hopefully is going to come out. And it's going to light all this cloud up if it does it's going to be absolutely peachy it really is going to be a fantastic little morning the only thing wrong is the tides out a long long way so i'll explain what i found for a composition in a moment anyway back to yesterday and what we were doing lesser abled um, locations we're here with our dutch friend um, arnold and his wife desiree and uh, we're in a camper van so we're lucky enough to be able to stop where we like really too within a certain extent um, so yeah we were meeting up which we have done we spent the day together yesterday we found some locations that I found easy or relatively easy enough for less abled people to to make their way to you know if your age is against you your, your, your weight your ability your fitness levels um, anything I don't want to sound rude or contradict I just I, you know me I don't mix I don't mix words very well um, I don't want to sound st stupid and come across horrible, but I was trying to think of a way of showing locations that other people, anybody sort of could pretty much get to um, and have a go at. This is another one of them. The car is very, very close to the shoreline. You can stand along the beach. If the tide's in, there's some lovely compositions with the tide in, so you've only got to walk across a few pebbles maybe. You don't even have to walk across them. You can actually stop on the actual uh, gravel area, on the area you can get down to. So this is another one of those locations I think is uh, well worth a look if you're not too abled. Um, Arnold is, is suffering with a bad foot at the moment and a bad knee and he's up and he's managed to get down to this little rock edge. Uh, like I said the tide's out which is a bit of a, a bit of a bugger really to be honest. If the tide was in further which is where I'm standing now um, you get a, a nicer view of the, the lighthouse. As it is I've sorted it out. Uh, I've come across this. It really isn't far. It's it's a hundred yards from the car, so if it's distance and fitness, it's not a problem. But obviously, you're not going to get um, access mobilities and stuff like that across things like this. So I have come across the rocks again, and the reason I've come across the rocks is for this little composition here. The tide's way out. Um, I haven't got my Wellingtons on, and I don't fancy climbing all over this slippery seaweed this morning. So the sky is the important bit, and the lighthouse. So I was trying to find something that would work. And as by, ha as by chance, walking across this little patch here, I've come across three, three little pools of water. You can see there, one, two, three pools of water. Um, that to me is acting like a beautiful leading line. It's just pushing you into the image from the bottom of the frame. Um, it leads you up to about at least halfway through the frame. And I've got the lighthouse sitting over on the right hand third. And then I've got a nice patch of sky at the top, which I hope, fingers crossed, is going to go a bit more crimson looking um, when that sun gets near the horizon as long as it's not being blocked over in the distance. So this is my thought process for coming down here. Like I say it's not far, but I have actually come down. I've used these three pools of water. I've noticed as well, I might just make my way through here. There's another couple of pools of water there with a boulder. So we'll, we'll see, and then I get a bit closer to the water's edge. Um, not a lot of water in this image, but it's nice nevertheless. Um, I've got a 0.2, 0.3, what is it? Can't remember now. I've got a six stop neutral density uh, soft grad in there. Now I've only got 0.3, I've said it right in the first place. Um, just a tiny little bit, just to tone that sky, just to balance the image a little bit more. Um, I've also got the polarizer on there, but I'm not winding the polarizer to its fullest. Um, there's some seaweed in this bottom pool down here. Just there, you can see the seaweed there. If I turn the polarizer right round, the seaweed pops out, goes bright green, and you can't see the reflection. And I'm hoping to get a bit of reflection from the sky. So I've sort of about a third of the way, it's just a, just taking a bit of the glare off. Um, so yeah, that's my image. That's where we're set up. That's where Arnold is waiting to get going, fighting for it, rearing, rearing fit today. He's probably thinking, I hate that Paul Compton. 
He said he's actually murdered me yesterday. <laughs> but yeah, that's this morning. That's what I do. That's what I plan. I've been talking now for six minutes. You're probably bored. You're probably all switched off, but I hope you haven't. Let's make an image out of this. And uh, yeah, I'll chat for you. I'll chat for you. I'll chat to you when the sun comes up and shows you a bit of sky. So see you in a bit. Come and join us for the rest of the day. We've got some good plans today as well, hopefully. Guess what? Um, very much a schoolboy era. We're not going to get a beautiful sky. We're not going to get no sun coming through that gap on the horizon. We're not going to get no peachy anything with the light apps in it. Um, when I got out the van this morning, I quickly got my phone out, put my photo pills app on, put it up, and I saw the line coming through the sky. I'm like, oh, that's where the sun's going to come up, just over there. And I've just been thinking, where's the sun? It's 12 minutes past. It's supposed to come up at seven, seven minutes past. Where is it? It's three minutes late four minutes five minutes late um, yeah the sun's not coming up over there where that beautiful little gap is the sun's coming up over there I'll show you the photo pills thing now I'm gonna stick it in this corner over the island just there um, brilliant 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 app to use I don't use it enough don't use it don't use it to its potential but yeah it just shows the sun's coming up over there and guess what there's a little bit of cloud over there and it's right behind an island so uh, yeah we're stuffed on that so now we're trying to work out images we can get that look okay um and as you can see look arnold's joined me morning boss you all right yeah i'm fine yeah he's all right he's had a rest now i, I worked him to death yesterday yes you did <laughs> i did yeah <laughs> he was feeling tired last night and he also said i mean driving in holland is probably very different than driving in north wales um as you as you probably guess it's flatter um but he said last night he ain't never ever driving around these little lanes these little roads in the dark it was extremely sketchy <laughs> and he wasn't very impressed but we're here we made it all right and it's okay so uh yeah now they are the roads up here if you're not from this country um and you're used to bigger open roads yeah forget that we don't have bigger open roads um not around these 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 areas they are very narrow and at night they get very dark and yeah sketchy to say the least um yeah so that's it that's it for us now this morning um, we're going to make a few images of the lighthouse we make the most of what we've got as we always do uh, maybe even look over to snowden over in the distance over there you've got the nice snowden range over there um, and just see if we can do something with the clouds something with what we've got at hand um, if i find another image if i find another composition i'll switch you back on and show you what it is i'm doing um, other than that we will see you after breakfast at another location breakfast. <laughs> not yet um, yeah we'll have another location I think probably in towards Ogwen Valley um, another another little spot that um, Arnold wants to see is the little bridge under the bridge now I have done a vlog on that and I've vlogged here before as well back when I started so yeah we'll, we'll go and find that another one it's relatively close to the car park it's easy enough walking distance but you do have to walk over a small wall and there's a little bit of footing just to get to where you're going but uh, yeah, I'll take you for the journey and show you where that is as well later on. But for now, I'm just going to shut up, enjoy this morning, have a bit of a chat and uh, yeah, just uh, drown me sorrows with a drop of water because I've missed the sun. Never mind. There's always another time, another day, another opportunity. Just reporting in. We have moved a little bit. We've come over to the classic of all classics and this is where I can show you where we are. The car's parked or the van's just parked just there. Uh, and this is a little pathway that comes down and it comes down to a little bit of the end there which you can get to quite easily and there's a very short little bit section of pebbles and it picks up on this path which leads you right the way down to the lighthouse if you may dare obviously it gets slippier as you go down but we set up for a very very simple very basic composition it's been shot a million times uh, the pathway or the little causeway that leads you to the lighthouse perfect leading line i've got this lovely clump of boulders on the right hand side here, rocks, real great load of texture in them and there's a little stump of wood, tiny little stump of wood that I've managed to keep in the corner of the image as well which just adds to the, the finish of the image. Um, yeah really really nice, there's a little tiny bit of colour in the sky and it's just enough to pick out some details which is really really nice. So I'm going to do two shots, I'm going to do a slightly wider one to bring in the whole of this 
So I've got the little marker boy over there, the island and the lighthouse, uh, which is pretty wide. I've gone up quite high, so I'm actually leaning down on the image, so we've got a lot more of the foreground leading you in. And then I'm going to do a slightly narrower one with just, probably just the island in and the lighthouse, Puffin Island. Um, but again, trying to keep this rocking. And that's, that's the two photographs I'm going to take from here. Same setup again, um, this time I've gone horizontal and I've got the polarizer on, which isn't doing a lot, but it is making the colors in the greens on the seaweed pop a little bit. And I've got the um, 0.3 uh, soft ND grad, just to tone the sky just a little bit to make the histogram a bit better. Um, no bracketing, no anything, F11, focused midpoint, just so most of it should be sharp. Um, I'm not too worried about getting every single little detail from front to back, but F11 should be pretty good anyway. You've got to come and have a look at this. I know I said I was going to go and I would see you after breakfast, blah, blah, blah. But me and uh, Arnold just walked down. We've got this beautiful, beautiful, look at this lovely line and a ring going round up to the lighthouse. So I've managed to force him down for a bit more of a walk, but it was well worth it. And then he came up with this great idea for someone that's a, bit, a little bit slow on his feet this weekend. He's like, look, can you get a reflection? I said, yeah, if you get low, he got a reflection. Well, of course that meant I had to get a reflection. Um, and I took one from about where I'm stood now, here. Turned the tripod upside down, I actually flipped my camera and put it in the bottom and it's got a little stumpy um, centre column or so I can get it really low to the ground. And there's a little bit in the image, and I'll show you, and I put an arrow to it, what I was on about. There's a little bit of greenage, a bit of weed, just touching the top of the water I wasn't quite keen on. And I thought, well, I wonder if I can get any closer to the pool of water. Yep, I've done it. Look at my tripod. Now, it begs to wonder why you would want a tripod that is like nearly 2.1 meters tall. Without the center column, um, it's, I don't know, it's just short of maybe 1900. I can just about reach it at certain times, but I've got it spanned all the way across this pool of water. And that's a fair span. Uh, I'm gonna pop an image up of me taking a picture of it, um, or taking a picture from it, because uh, Arnold just took one of me on my phone and it looks brilliant and the camera is about five inches maybe from the water's top. But absolutely brilliant. And I've got a beautiful, beautiful reflection. 50-50 image, lighthouse, lighthouse, puffin island, puffin island. It looks really, really good. So yeah, made up with that, well nice. And I thought I'd just switch you on just to show you that because I think that is just bonkers. Right, well, we had a bit of a change of plan, um, as you do, and all that. I don't know where Andre is, but we've just pulled up at this little location. We've been here before. Again, the van is parked literally just there. This is all you've got to make your way down. Um, it's obviously a beach, so you've got to make your way onto the beach, and there's a few stones and pebbles. But again, for a simple, close location, this is about as close as a location you're gonna get. And the location we're at, is that the church in the sea um, it does have a welsh name and i'll put the welsh name up for you but i cannot pronounce it or say it so we are calling it a church in the sea um, i need to find arnold see how far he's walked 
because he's doing pretty well but I did tire him out yesterday I may have mentioned that earlier but yeah this is our next location the tides probably on the turn going back out now um, but we'll get an image while we're here um, just to show you where we are and what you can do with the place Isn't that right? Yes, you agree with me. <laughs> I've just been talking to Arnold here and I said, um, I'm, I'm moving up and down like this. And I don't know whether you can see on the camera, I'll see if I can home in a little bit for you. But just there, as you move up and down with the camera, you get this tiny little bit of a reflection just in the pool of water uh, from about this height, just there. And uh, he said, really? I said, yeah, it's about the cherry, the icing on the top of the cake, uh, you know, the cherry on the top of the mountain sort of thing. He says, really? Well, no, it's just ball. But you believe me anyway, don't you? No, it does, it makes a difference. A little bit of a, that little bit of reflection, you might not see it, but now I've pointed it out, you'll look for it in the photograph. Um, taking a couple, I've taken one with a boulder, just to give a bit more foreground interest. And now I'm just concentrating on the church, on the island, um, and some nice blue sky. Polarizers on, making the sky look absolutely fantastic. And I've also got the 10 stop on, just to smooth out as much as I can as well. Uh, reflections are nice, the polarizer is not taking out all the glare, just turning it round till you get the clouds popping out and bringing out the blues in the sky. Again, no clouds over that side, all the clouds are this side, but it doesn't really matter. Um, it's about the image we get today and the sun is shining on the church so it looks really, really nice. Right, we've called it on that one. Um, conditions weren't great for taking photographs. Uh, clouds have come over, so it snubbed out the light on the church, so it wasn't popping from the background. Uh, I think I got one, possibly two, before that happened. Um, I got the drone out, you've probably seen a little bit of drone footage. Uh, couldn't even keep that up in the air because the, I think there were turns attacking it again, chasing it around, and uh, yeah, it turned against it, the turn turned against it. He's a witty bugger, he is, he really is witty. <laughs> um, yeah, so I had to bring that down as well, but uh, yeah, we got the drone out, we had a five minutes play, got, got an image, got a bit of a keepsake from the day. Um, another day, another conditions. I'd like to see it surrounded in water, really, really high tide, so I'll, I'll come back and try that another time. Um, we might have a quick brew now, and then we'll head up to our next location, which will probably be back into North Wales, back at Betsy Coed. No, back at Kilinodwin, sorry. Um, for a, a bridge and a bridge. So we'll speak to you when we get to our next location. See you a bit. <laughs> We're back, uh, back with you. Uh, it's been, for me, quite a while since I last spoke to you. Uh, for you, it's been a split second probably. Um, but yeah, we've just uh, been out, we've tried to park up at uh, Clinark Gwyn to go to the waterfall and the double bridges uh, which Arnold wanted to see. Um, we couldn't park, so we went off for dinner, went up to Shabob's for dinner. Uh, it was quite nice. We crossed over, babe. It was quite nice. Um, just sat talking and then we said, right, we need to get down here. Let's come and do this before we go back and make the most of it. Now, yes, you can see me walking. This is still the same video. It's still easy access. Uh, we parked in the car park just there, just at the back there. Uh, we normally park there and we walk along the side of the, uh, the Glen or the lake, whatever you want to call it, uh, which is this is Glen Ogwen. Uh, so we walk along the lake, it's free parking and it's about half a mile maybe, but it's flat. So we park there. Uh, there is actually a parking car park, pay and display, very near the bridge and also the boathouse which is down here. Mitch is flying around. Um, so yeah, you can park closer and I'll show you that when I get up there. 
So yeah, I just wanted to report back, let you know where we are. Try not to bash these cars on my tripod. Um, but there's been a lot of cars parked on the side of the road. Um, now we'll give you this tip. In Snowdon, over by the mountain and the Penny Pass, they are ticketing all the vehicles that are on the side of the road. Yeah, you will get done, you will get a ticket, guaranteed. Um, so I wasn't sure about parking along the road here. You can see they're behind me there, they're in front of us there. I didn't want to leave my van or the car, or whatever you're in, I didn't want to leave it on the side of the road because I was just not sure. Um, and that's the only tip I can give you because I don't know. So uh, yeah, I'll catch up with you in a little bit once I get down here to the waterfall at the end and I'll show you the other car park. I'm just crossing back over now, going over to the car park to meet Arnold and uh, Desiree. Uh, they had a parking ticket from earlier on because they managed to get a space, so we managed, they parked there. Just wanted to point out the little building just there. That's the boathouse that I shot way back when I first started vlogging. Um, we did a sunrise there, and you've got like, the modern sort of boathouse and it looks along Glenogwin. So that's as easy as it is. Car park's right behind you there. And all you've got to do is get to that, where that van is and you can get through and you can climb on there. So that's a very, very easy, very accessible little place. And uh, this is the other one. You've got toilets here and there's a little cafe here and everything. This is Glenogwin Cafe or something they call it. So yeah, it's nice and simple, nice and easy. So uh, we're going to walk back around here and just down this road a little bit. So I'll take you in a minute and show you. Oh, we've just met some more people all the way from Edinburgh. <laughs> and we've got a selfie. I'm going to bung it up now. All right, sorry about that. I just jumped in for a bit then and said I've just met someone and hope you're watching it was absolutely fantastic of meeting you and uh, it is never going to get endless people coming up and shaking my hand absolutely blown away fantastic thank you for doing that um, and yes I did mean what I said to you next time you're down next year if you're down in in North Wales or the Lake District or the Peak District if you are coming down let me know you're coming down and we'll meet up for a day definitely I promise um, right car parks just there where that car is we walked down about 500 yards maybe. We're just gonna cross the road and this is, can be a very busy road. It's a, a 60 mile an hour road when the speed limits are lifted. Um, they've just relayed it. So yeah, please be careful crossing this road. And we're going just over here. There's a small style here, um, which you would have seen on my last video when we were here. We've got a small style to cross and I'm gonna show you where it is we're crossing. We'll let these people over first. And uh, this is the style, as you can see in front of us there. We've got a bit of a step over this to go, and then you're actually in and, and ready to photograph. So we'll take you across and we'll show you where we're setting up. Good man. Made that look easy, didn't he? Right. All we've got to do is get down that, but if you want to go to the bottom. All you've got to do, he says, Right, you can actually go around this side and you can look that way. So you can do the easy bit first and then you can do this bit if you want to get closer to the bottom. But this is, this is another thing there. I just want to point this out. There's a bit of a step down if you actually want to get down to the edge of the wall. But I'm going to take you around the front side first so you can see the two bridges. There, Matt. Yeah. Now I'm going to let Arnold have his moment because it's his important shot. I've done this before, um, I don't need to take a photograph. Uh, the water level is quite low, um, but they're also, they're also on, uh, t running for time because they've got to be at a campsite before six o'clock. And it's about half four now, so uh, yeah, we're pressing for a little time. So we'll let them take the photograph. If I don't get one, then I'll just apologize to you guys and we'll come back and do one another time. Um, but you can also check out the video, I can put the link up and uh, you can check out the uh, video that I've taken from last time we were here. There's a little bit of snow and ice around, which is quite nice. And I think I've got a couple of nice little shots from it. Um, but if I can, once uh, Arnold's done what he's doing and they've maybe made a move, we'll jump down and take a couple of images. What is very nice is this nice pink heather that's coming out. So I think there's a shot down there with a bit of pink heather in the foreground. 
So once everything's done, I'm going to go down and support this camera for a minute. minute. I'm going to jump down the wall. I've got an image set up. I've got something set for you. Um, I'm making this very simple, very easy. Uh, I will try and find something a bit more unique, a bit different. But at the moment, I just want to find something simple, just so I can. I'm going to make this super fast. The battery's just died on the go on the uh, M50. If I disappear, I might have to come back on my phone. I've only picked up two Fuji batteries in my pocket, and I haven't got one for you. So if you disappear, I'll put you on my phone. But very simple image. I put the polarizer on to eliminate the glare in the water. I've got two bridges in it. A little bit of foreground interest by the pinks and the purples. But yeah, image in this. It's gone again. All I'm going to be able to say is thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. Please share this video. Please do what you can. Try and help. Please like and subscribe. I need a spare battery.